What is color? Why are things the color that they are? Color by itself is actually a really strong evolutionary tool that these animals use on a day-to-day -day basis just to survive. Color helps us understand the inner workings of our world. Color is not just beautiful, but it actually tells us a lot about what's going on in the world. You can really start to understand that secret language of nature. Living organisms use color to uh, find mates, find food, hide in plain sight, warning. And that really is a key to why there is so much diversity in life. It's one of the main variables that living organisms use to, to differentiate themselves. Color of Life is our newest permanent exhibit exploring biodiversity through color. The Color of Life exhibit is all about the interaction of light with things that are alive. And it sounds like a simple interaction, but it's incredibly complex and really fascinating. The exhibit sh shows how color is created. Probably the biggest challenge with this exhibit has been deciding what not to put in. There is so much color and there's so much you want to talk about. For me and my team, the underlying challenge in creating any new exhibit is making sure that we've selected a species that can really thrive in our environment here. In Color of Life, you'll see a small flock of Goulian finches, Riggenbox reed frogs, green tree pythons, California newts, mice, giant leaf insects, and day octopus. One of my favorite animals that you see in the gallery are the giant leaf insects. They're really masters of camouflage and also really great actors as well. When they're disturbed and when they're walking around, they even sway like a leaf in the wind to mimic that to kind of throw off their predators. One of my favorites is actually we have a cephalopod tank. They can actually change the color of their skin so it's like pixels on their skin that they can turn off and on and grow and shrink and they can blend into an environment or completely change color to tell you I'm pissed off, back off. I hope that people get a real sense of wonder when they look at these animals. We like to hear the aquarium level is, oh wow. In Color of Life, we have over 200 different specimens on display. So everything ranging from nudibranch to these beautiful birds to our tiger and giraffes on display. Getting to move large mammal mounds is fun. <laughs> it's not every day you get to be face to face with a tiger. <laughs> one of my favorite exhibit elements is this one we call Living Color. And it's talking about how color is fleeting. We use a transparent screen to help bring the color back and show you what the animal looked like when it's alive. Our Giga Macro exhibit allows you to zoom in into a specimen in exquisite, intricate detail. The color visualizer, which is kind of the centerpiece of the exhibit, it's like a touchstone for all the content in the exhibit. We've got about 150 different stories, different color stories, different animal stories, plant stories. This is the first time I've ever been on an exhibit this large, ever. And it is incredible, the teamwork it takes to build it. There are certain parts of the exhibit that just come together easily. And, and then there are other parts, and they're not necessarily the parts that you expect, that it's like pulling teeth sometimes. <laughs> Everybody's putting in really long hours, long days to make sure everything just looks perfect at opening day. What do I hope people get out of Color of Life? To maybe appreciate that color sometimes says, you know, this and sometimes that and sometimes hide and go seek. And sometimes it's just a mystery and we don't know quite why yet certain things are certain colors. And if you can walk away with that sense of curiosity and discovery, I think that's a job well done.